All right, TJ, thank you. As mentioned, not often we see wind chills this low in southern New England. What effect will they have on Valentine's Day? Again, temperatures expected to be in the single digits for much of Sunday, coupled with punishing wind. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian, she caught up with some locals out and about today, and she joins us now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Kim. It's February in southern New England, which means people are in the middle of winter's icy grasp. People either love it. Oh, this is beautiful weather. Are you kidding me? Or they hate it. I think that this is very bad, and I can't wait for spring. But whatever you think of the cold, with temperatures dipping towards record lows and wind chills, making it feel well below zero, officials are reminding people to take it seriously and bundle up. Emergency warming centers are open across the region for those who lose heat, and some organizations are closing due to the cold. We've gotten word that several local churches have already canceled Sunday morning services, giving folks another reason to stay inside and stay warm. We're going to snuggle with our dog. We got a big yellow lab and he keeps us very warm. But if you are planning to head outside, take a page out of Ben Seaman's book, bundle up, cover your face and neck and wear gloves and a hat. How do you feel about this cult? I love it. You love it? Yeah. Why do you like it so much? It's better to be cold than to be warm. Still, the cold isn't for everyone. People were scurrying to get inside and get back in the heat. Donna Concalvis says she's planning to head south. What's your plan to stay warm this weekend? I went to AAA, got my passport photos, and we're going away soon. <laughs> And things are quiet here at the Alex and Ani Skating Center in downtown Providence. Why? Because it's closed. They say it's too cold, even for ice skaters. Reporting in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.